it's your crazy fangirl shiny. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. We are here, guys, with the last episode of The Mandalorian, episode 8, season 3. Hold on, it's still loading. And of course, there's no title yet. But oh my god, guys, the week that we've had as fans for The Mandalorian, holy crap, dude. There has been theories galore. I am not prepared. Oh god. I mean, I think a lot of us are very nervous just because, like, of what possibly could happen. So just get them out of the way so I don't disturb ourselves during the watch. I'm going to just give all my theories now. I was always sus of the armorer. Um, so, yeah, and I know a lot of people are like, but what if it's not her? Like, oh my god. I mean, who cares if it's not her? Then it's just another theory that didn't go right. So, um, she wears, obviously, the horns, like the horn helmet, and I found that weird because the only other time I saw that was in the Clone Wars, especially, particularly during the Siege of Mandalore with, uh, you know who, uh, Maul. So, um, and who was involved was Rook Cast. Rook Cast was one of, like, the side people that, like, really supported him during the time. And so, my theory is that she... This is, it may be far-fetched, I don't know, but this is like one of my theories that I've been thinking about for a while and I spoke about it to Mitch, people who um, were here since season two will know I did a podcast with him and we did all theory. So I talked to him about it, he was like, wait, maybe you're onto something. Because uh, he, he said like he didn't even think about it. Like basically I was saying like, what if like this whole like belief in their clan in terms of taking off the helmet is only because she never wanted to reveal her face and her true identity. Um, and just a lot of things about her just seem very similar to Rookcast. The accent as well that's used is the same that Rookcast used in the Clone Wars. So it's like, maybe. <laughs> It's a very far-fetched. But there are so many indicators that it might be her. But also another thing is that people have been theorizing that Din and my man, Pedro Pascal, you guys know, my love of my life, um, that he might die. And I, honestly, I am not prepared if that happens. I'm also not prepared because a lot of people are saying this. They will not bring this into the show if it wasn't significant. The mind flare. So people are saying that he might have his memory wiped of Grogu, of everything, and I'm like, my, no, my body is not ready for that. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, I, if I, yeah, I'm probably going to break down if anything that happens. Like, <sighs> anyway, I've talked enough. We're going to, like, jump into this because I'm, I'm so excited. I'm nervous. <sighs> Let's just go. Before that we do that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, guys... Let's watch the last episode of season three of The Mandalorian. <laughs> oh shit, okay, damn. It's just off already. Evacuate everyone. Use the capital ship as a decoy. We can't beat them in the air. We have to beat them on the ground. Oh. Another thing is that people are saying it might be Axe, but I don't I don't think it is Axe. Oh, that's <gasps> Dude, what a transition. Oh my god, Din! Dude, that's another thing people were saying. Uh, we're gonna see Pedro's face. And I think it is. I'm scared! Oh, uh, yes, my boy! Oh! oh my god! Dude, not! Yes, burn the other guy. My god! No! Oh, my god! Oh my god! No, 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 no. Oh, Grogu! No. Oh. Okay. Okay. oh, Grogu! Oh, Grogu! Bless him! Stop it! This will never end. Stop! Stop it! Stop! Stop! Dean! Stop it! Oh my god! No! Stop it! Oh, what's the episode name? The return! Cool! Nice name! But now I'm scared! Oh. We're under attack. I have to get the troops to safety. Understood. Dude! No! Just group up and all leave together! Oh. Shall we engage? No. I'll take care of him myself. 
Die, little robot, die! God, buddy, not that way. <laughs> go the other way. Or is he gonna sacrifice himself? I don't know. Where'd the fucking armor go? That's the question. Whoa, 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 oh. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I was like, um, hello? That's a sick shot, though. Oh no, he's not being sus, he's actually just trying to make it as a decoy. Oh my god. Damn, dude, okay. Where's the armor up? This is what I mean! She's fucking sus! Where did she go? She was on a ship! Ooh, oh, dude, this McMahon's- Oh my god, Din! Oh! 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 Din! Next fuel. Nice work! Oh, get help! Jesus! Oh, well, that worked in his favor. <laughs> five, five. Whoops! <laughs> yes, Din! My god! He's upgrading! He's leveling up, guys! <laughs> Gideon, or yeah, it's all clones. Oh, so it is him. He made clones of himself. Ah! <gasps> oh my God, Din! Nice. <laughs> Lady Freeze, your reinforcements have arrived. Oh damn! Okay, there she is. She's going as well. Interesting, interesting. Damn, look at them. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god. This looks like a fucking video game, dude. I love it. Woohoo! Nice. Get him, Din. Oh! Careful, Grogu. Oh! Oh god. No! I d oh, I'm so afraid they will come back. Freaking hell, Din! Oh my god! Stop! No! 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 Oh, <laughs> Grogu! Oh, Grogu! Please, for the love of God! No! Oh my god! Oh my god, stop! Oh, look at her go! Okay. Maybe I'm not so sus anymore, we'll see. <laughs> oh, Grogu! Oh, no! Oh, yes, Grogu! Yes, my flipping boy! Yes, my child! Run! Go! Yes! Get him! Oh! No! Jin! Oh, my god! Oh! Yes! Let's go! Surrender. <laughs> oh, no! No, Grogu! My baby! Oh my god! Din! No! Oh! Yes! Oh! Oh! Okay. Come on! Bo, get up! Yes, Bo, get him! This is your destiny, girl! Come on! What?! God, that was a sick shot though. Oh my god! <gasps> Din! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! Save him! Please! Yes! No! Not again! Gr Duh, Moff, you're not gonna get him! Oh my god! Dude! What the hell? Grogu! <laughs> oh, the little angel! Yes! <laughs> Wow, what a shot, dude! Look, and 
baby's still standing! My baby! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Wait, so is Gideon gone? Yes! <laughs> oh, that's right. They never finished his, like, thing, didn't they? Oh, no, it passes it there! Become a Mandalorian apprentice. Yes, but his parents are far from here. If they are even alive. Um, hello? Hello? As my own. Make it official! It's been said this whole time! <laughs> Let it be written in song that Din Djarin is accepting this foundling as his son. Yay! For <laughs> now, Din Grogu, Mandalorian apprentice. This is the way. Oh! Woohoo! background <laughs> you know this is against regulation it'll never get approved which is why you won't tell them <laughs> i was about to say let me think about it you already did <laughs> it's a good deal in family if you choose so <laughs> between adventures <laughs> thank you greeting citizens oh I am IG <laughs> your new marshal your new marshal of Navarre. <laughs> Aww, he's got a little place now. Din, take your helmet off. Look at him, living his best life. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the <laughs> I did what? I did not expect that to happen, okay? Damn, alright. Okay, um, I just took a second to sort of take that all in because I will not lie, because of the torment Star Wars has given me, I was like, really second guessing that. I was like, wait, is this actually how it's gonna end? Like, it's a happy ending? Like, what? Like, oh. So that's why, like, I'm so shocked that everybody was alive and well by the end of it. And also... I throw my theory out the window. It's because, I don't know, she was sus, but I don't know. Maybe it was just to throw you off track. And I was someone who was thrown off track and I'm proud of it because honestly, I actually really loved this episode. And I felt like, like, not that it was prolonging too long, but it was like, the only thing that's going to happen is something really sad, which is like, either Din's going to die, Bo's going to get hurt, or something's going to happen to Grogu, or something bad's going to happen. Um, and, and all someone's going to betray them, whether it was Axe or whether it was um, the Amara. This was, it was going to be huge. But instead, I was really completely wrong. So like, I loved, let's start off, because I think a lot of people like, I'm gonna do like a whole review like while I'm doing the episode review but like I think this whole season I think everybody like really wanted action from the get-go which we did get it from the first episode but I think people wanted like the the fight the like everybody to be at Mandalore and like yes we got Mandalore here we go and then it's like no instead what we're gonna do is like yes we go to Mandalore but this is gonna be like showing um I think the gathering of Mandalores more than anything. So we get to see Din and Bo sort of put aside their grievances, um, especially Bo because she has like beef with Din because of the dark saber. And I do love just like how like close Din and Bo got, whether it's romantic or not, and just like it was a fight. And then like finally they both come together and they forge that alliance, that friendship, and it was so lovely. So that was so nice. And then yeah, just seeing all the stuff with Grogu and even just like him becoming a part of the Mandalorian family and also just with Bo learning about Din's clan getting to know Paz Vizsla and even the Amara and then all of it coming together again just like like bringing all the Mandalorians together and then um bringing it all together in this last episode which is like yes there is the threat of us losing Mandalore but we're all gonna fight for it because this is our home. I really loved the action especially with Din in that corridor fight. He got his own Darth Vader moment in a way. <laughs> Maul got it too in Clone Wars, so Din got it in this. <laughs> and yeah, just seeing him, because this is this is what I mean with Din. Like, he is not the best fighter. He's quite sloppy. I've said this a couple of times. But it's, it's that, like, I don't know, that uniqueness of fight and just going with your, like, fight or flight mode and him just doing what he has to do just to survive. 
One aspect I really would have liked, really would have liked, even though, like, it wouldn't have made sense just because Din had, like, obviously gotten, like, is fine with having the helmet, like, on now, but, like, if he had the helmet ripped off and just him being, like, like, he'll, like, I don't know, some cool line about how, like, he doesn't care about that right now. All he cares about is survival and also getting to his kid. I feel like that would have been really cool, but, you know, it's okay. I'm guessing that it also probably was because Pedro was busy with Last of Us. It's fine. I really, really enjoyed it. And just the fight, the whole thing with Moff Gideon, bo coming in, and then Din going to save Grogu, and then, and all, just Din and Grogu fighting together. I was like, Grr! like, him using the Force, and just, oh, it was so, so beautiful. And so nice, just because, obviously, we've had Grogu sort of a little helpless in Season 2. And even in Boba Fett, Boba Fett, he didn't really do anything. But, like... Just to see them fight together properly, it's like, oh, they're, they're so amazing, they're so nice. And then, yeah, just seeing Boro as well with the Darksaber, and that moment of breaking the Darksaber too. In a way, though, that's such a powerful moment, because it just, like, because everything has ridden on, like, getting the Darksaber. We need to get the Darksaber, the Darksaber, Darksaber, and then it breaks. But then it's like, it like, that shouldn't matter. You should still be a leader with or without the sword. Or, sorry the dark saber yeah i don't know it just feels so like i think everybody was nervous about something negative happening like someone dying someone getting injured and then for it to be basically like a happy ending where like grogu and din literally like get their happy ending they become father and son officially they get their own place and everything and that they're living their life it's like ha like <laughs> I think overall, though, there could have been some better writing moments. I've always, I've always said this, like, I love John, but there are some moments where I'm like, like, you don't need to always tell us, just show. Show, don't tell. That's always so important. We get this a lot in, I, I hate to say it as an example, we get it in Andor. Um, we get it in, what else? There's a lot of other shows, but I can't name them off the top of my head. But I just know, Andor, we've seen it so many times. And even they spoke, a lot of people have been speaking about this recently. Like, you don't need to just spit everything out. Like, you just give us a little bit and then just show us. You don't need to tell us everything. There's There have been some great moments, even in this season where this show don't tell, but then it's like... You don't need to always spew something out. But, like, I don't know, I feel like even just, like, with, like, some of the moments with, like, Grogu and Din by themselves, where Din's like, oh, we need to do this, we need to do that. As cool as it is to always get informed, sometimes it's just like, okay, cool. Um, just following him, just seeing, like, instead of it always talking, just following him. Like, even this, I recently replayed it, Halo 3. Basically, Master Chief, like is like just seeing something in the distance and one of the characters is like, oh, like what's wrong? What's going on? Doesn't say anything, just goes towards it. And just like, you don't even need to say anything. Like he's precautious, like it's all in his body language. Like he's got his gun up. He's very like careful about it. And like we, I feel like we could have more moments like that, which would be really nice. Like just showing and not telling. Now going to season four, I've, I already had a look at Twitter. People were like, wait, so is this the end? Like there's not going to be season four. I know, I think, I'm pretty sure it's been confirmed that there's going to be a season four. I think the only way it's going to work is if there's a time jump. And I would, in a way, I would love to see a time jump. Just because, you know, we already know in a way like that ending by him going and seeing um the pilot, Car uh, Carson, I think his name is. We already know, like, he's gonna work with him, like, secretly, or, like, not secretly, privately, and do little missions for him to, like, find out what's going on if the Empire is still around, which is so amazing of Din to do. And, you know, basically, like, doing those little jobs here and there. So I think it would be really good to do a time jump, whether it's a couple of years, a couple of months, whatever it is. I feel like it would be great to just, boom, time jump. This is where we are now, and, you know, whether it's the threat that's higher or anything... Um, also because of the fact that um, at Celebration they obviously spoke about the fact that Mandalorian will also tie in with Ahsoka and then the movie's going to come out and that's going to all tie in together. What will happen is like in season four we might see a lot more threads of like Thrawn and all that stuff and all the greater threats I think that will be in sort of like that timeline. So I think it's all going to come together slowly we just gotta wait and see and I'm just hoping it all comes together well because like I love this show so much yeah I just I, I like obviously like I said 
not all the ideas came well together in season three, but I do love the story and like the deeper roots to it that we had. And there were so many moments that I did love and just, you know, hopefully season four, they'll, you know, they'll learn from it. They'll take the feedback and they'll learn from it. I think because a lot of people like, obviously there are, there are the people who over hate, but then there's also people who are really good and they give actual constructive criticism to but yeah i again thoroughly enjoyed it i loved this episode great conclusion and just it feels weird because we've had 15 i i checked online someone said it too we've had 15 weeks of pedro pascal in our lives from the lot if you've watched it the last of us to the mandalorian it's been 15 weeks guys how am i going to survive <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the last episode of Season 3 of The Mandalorian. But yeah, I probably should end it because it's it's a little late and I've got to finish this before going to bed for work. But yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed it. So yeah, I'm, I'm sort of like, I'm excited to see what they do in Season 4 because honestly, I'm not sure what, what they're going to do. I know that obviously it's going to link into Thrawn and everything, but... I'm excited to be surprised. I just hope it's a good surprise, so I'm excited. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna leave it here for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Bingo out. Woo!